Hello everybody, this is 3-3 Readings and today this is going to be a pick a card reading and it is going to be your um, future love predictions like what is there to come for you, what should you expect. Um, so if there is a situation that's on your mind in terms of love, what's going to be the outcome and things like that, okay? Before you begin, I would like for you guys to subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my other channel 3-3 Intuitive. Um, and I do all 12 signs as well as pick a card readings. And you guys have requested for this. So I am here with a pick a card reading. Okay. All right. So let's begin. I have three um, piles here for you guys to select from. This is number one. This is number two. And this one is number three. Okay. So I want you guys to relax yourself before you begin. And before you pick any number. Close your eyes and whichever number appears in your mind is the number you should pick according to me, okay? So whatever number you picked from one, two, and three, we're going to begin and we're going to see what is coming in love for you, okay? Let's get started. Okay, guys, so if you chose pile number one, these are going to be your messages. So let's see. I have an oracle card message as well that I'm going to flip for you guys now. Whoa, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. And let's see, let's see what are the tarot messages for you guys. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, okay, so we have Eight of Swords. We have Four of Cups. And then we have Two of Cups here for you guys. Okay, so if you chose this one, I think that um, there was a situation in your love life in the past in which somebody that you were dealing with was acting disinterested in you um, and you felt like there was lack of closure um, in the equation. So you could be feeling stuck right now. You could be feeling overwhelmed and, you know, feeling all sorts of emotions, um, you know, feeling happy and sad, anxious all that stuff. So you could be overwhelmed with emotions right now that I see uh, and you're hoping and wishing for an outcome. You know, I also see that you're dissatisfied because of something. There's something that you're hoping for. There's some sort of a reunion that you're hoping for. And what I see in the outcome for you is the two of cups. And as y'all have seen, the passion card came out as well for you guys. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups, I definitely see that things will change um, for you. And it might seem like, it, you know, it's not going anywhere. The situation you're dealing with is very stuck and stagnant. It might seem like that right now, but it is not like that. Um, things are going to move forward with this person. Um, I do see you two reconciling. I do see you two reconciling. I do see you two um seeing each other in the future but i just see uh reconciliation in the future for you with the wheel of fortune i kind of see that um things will change between the two of you i feel like this time around when this person's going to come back um it's going to be different something's going to be different i see a lot of change for you the number 555 is coming in my head for you guys for this one. So I see a lot of changes. I see a lot of um, movement, forward movement in your love life. And this time around, this is going to be more passionate than before. Because right now you are seeming to be very, very stuck and stagnant in your energy um, you, you, you know, there's lack of closure in the situation that I see. There's lack of balance that you're trying to bring in the situation and you don't want things to be over. I do see you, um, overthinking about something a lot. So there's a lot on your mind, a lot going on in your life, um, that you're stressed about. I just see a lot of stress in the situation right now going in for you. And you're taking a lot of stress, you know, feeling restless, but in the outcome, I do see I do see things changing for you with the two of cups. 
Um, I see you reconciling with somebody. This person could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're wanting to reconcile with. Could be any sign though. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here too. So the Oracle message for you is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you, there is a definitely a need for you to release the burden, release uh, the dissatisfaction that you might be feeling because when you are in that energy, there's a chance that you feel stuck and bound. And there, you know, you you will not really move ahead if you feel stuck and if your energy is stuck and stagnant. So the best thing for you to do is to relax yourself a bit, open up your heart, um, and see what life brings you because I do see things um getting better for you. Okay. So that's it. That's all if you chose pile number one. Okay, guys. So if you chose pile number two, this is going to be your message. Let's see. Heart to heart conversation. This is your Oracle card message. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So there's a need for you to open up to somebody. There's a need for you to let it all out, you know, um, be expressive in your emotions. Um, If there's something that you're keeping in your heart regarding somebody, there's a need for you to let it all out, okay? So heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This could also mean that somebody could be coming in to communicate with you. Let's clarify with the tarot. Oh, whoa, page of swords. Page of cups. That's beautiful. And then you get the high priestess. So I'm getting a lot of Pisces vibes here. Or this person could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But for the most part, I get Pisces vibes and Virgo, Hermit. So for you, I do see that you're trying to decide to get out of a dark time in your life. You're trying to guide yourself out of a dark and tough situation. You know, uh, being, being there for yourself, having your own back kind of and coming out of a situation that you feel stuck and stagnant in. So you're trying to find solution to things on your own. Okay, and in your head, you might think that things are over with somebody, but I don't really see things being over with somebody. I see that there's a person in your life that is stalking you, keeping tabs on you. But on the outside, they're showing you or they might have shown you in the past that they're disinterested. So I feel like communication has been um, a little to no communication between the two of you. And I feel like it's it, it has bothered you. Um, you could be expecting communication, but it didn't happen as of yet. So, you know, you, you're kind of like, mm, should I even wait for this or not? So, you, you know, you're in that contemplation energy, contemplating about things. Um, but the thing is that there is somebody who is keeping tabs on you with a page of swords that I see. Somebody wanting to communicate with you. They want to confess something to you. Page of Swords is also talking about confession and with the heart to heart conversation, it's definitely confession or telling you something. So I do see that this person um, is stalking you on social media and things like that. I definitely do see them putting your name on that search bar and searching for you and seeing what you're up to. But on the outside, they're, they're very silent and not taking things forward with you. And I just see you being very thoughtful and being very mindful of whatever it is that you're doing in your life. So you're not just like running through your life. Um, I do see you being very um, silent and really observing what is it going on in your life and what changes you need to make to get out of it um, if it's not serving you. With the Page of Cups, I definitely do see a lot of communication. I do see somebody wanting to express um, and it's going to be very um, flirtatious in their energy. Who's, who, whoever is coming towards you is going to be very flirtatious in their energy. Um, and I, I feel like they're going to be very expressive. So I do see uh, uh, a lot of expressive communication. And I'll also get um, the number four here. So, you know, the four of ones, four, four, four is popping in my head for this one. So I do see balance coming into your life. I But the thing is that there is a need for you to get out of something, to get through that and to get to that balance. And you are in the process of um, letting go of what doesn't serve you and moving ahead in life. Um, there's somebody who's keeping tabs on you and wondering why are you um, so lost 
why are you so silent but the thing is you're not really lost and silent you you know you're thinking a lot in your head what is what is really worth investing in so you're very much in your uh, grounded energy very very grounded very thoughtful uh, very intuitive energy and your energy is drawing that person in towards you okay so i do see a lot of communication coming in for you and if there is something in your heart that you're keeping against somebody or just there's some spite or just something in your heart if that's not spite or anything bad if you have love that you haven't expressed this is a time that you should be more expressive and tell this person what you really feel if they did something that bothered you that caused you sadness it's the time to tell them if not if you feel good towards this person this is the time to be expressive okay so that's it if you chose pile number two okay so if you chose pile number three i am going to be telling you what is there to come for you in love okay so let's take a deep breath relax yourself and let's see what the oracle card is saying for you reconciliation wow someone from your past is returning to you wow so right off the bat it's very direct the message is very very clear that somebody's going to be returning to you somebody's going to be communicating with you somebody that you think a lot about you could be dreaming about this person you could be very much in your thoughts about this person that person's going to be returning to you okay so let's see what the tarot cards are saying for you the world four of ones that is beautiful this is whoa ace of pentacles so right off the bat what i see for you if you pick this one is that a lot of stability um something serious like a marriage proposal somebody expressing themselves to you and somebody expressing that they see a long-term partnership with you and i do see you coming together with somebody and it's going to be very joyful you two are going to celebrate you two could go out and you know just celebrate each other um you know go on vacation or just celebrate together i see a lot of celebration and some sort of a wish fulfillment for you so if you have been thinking about somebody a lot i do think that that person is going to be returning to you and going to be very happy uh, with the world i definitely do see i just get vacation vibes from this one like you wanting to go on a vacation or maybe you planned on going somewhere with this person but couldn't happen but now is the time it might happen uh, or just you wanting to spend time in a calm serene place to kind of like relax yourself um, another aspect I'm getting for this is a lot of financial stability or just some sort of a wish fulfillment that comes in and presents itself to you when you least expect it, okay? And then you get the temperance for this one. So I feel like if you keep yourself um, patient, there is a lot that is coming towards you. Now, sometimes uh, when we expect things to happen, we can become a little bit impatient. We want things to happen fast just because we, you know, we're missing somebody. We're thinking about somebody. We want it to happen and we want it to happen really, really fast. But the universe is telling you to keep your patience. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy is here too, or it could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio too. I do see that there's a need for you to keep your patience. There's a need for you to stay grounded and really not get lost in your emotions, you know, because I know you could be missing this person. I know you're wanting to hear from this person. It might not have happened yet, but it is going to happen. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to you. And I feel like when this person does return to you, it's going to be very fulfilling. It's going to be very... um you know it's going to bring you a lot of happiness it's going to and i also am getting that it's going to happen when you least expect it okay when you're going to be out and about or just when you will be doing something that you love you know enjoying yourself when you will be very happy um this person's going to hit you up that's what i'm getting from this um and the number that i am getting for this reading is um 333 
okay? The reason being is that I see reconciliation and that's why I have said 333 because I do see somebody coming in towards you to expand with you, to grow with you and a lot of expression of love is going to be happening for you. It's going to, it's going to make you so happy. It's going to be like a wish fulfillment for you. Okay, because I'm also getting that this person that you're dealing with, whoever it is that's on your mind, feels like there is still something that is left unsaid and they have to tell you that. So they feel like there's some unfinished business between the two of you. Um, uh, wow, that this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So keep yourself grounded. Be patient. Whatever it is that you're wishing for is coming to you. A lot of wish fulfillment, happiness, balance, all that good stuff coming in for you. Okay, so that's it if you chose pile number three. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's all that I have for you. I hope I gave you the messages, um, you know, according to the pile that you picked. I try my best to channel the best guidance to you. Okay. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for your free readings. For personal readings, you can check out the description box for the details. Subscribe to my other channel, 33 Intuitive. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.